Chris Trim is on the loose today and yes we're back and yeah a few days off after the mad mad game on Wednesday night but we're back into the Northern Premier League again we're going to Baseford against Macclesfield we haven't done Baseford for a couple of years now so we're due to return back into Nottingham and yeah we surpassed two and a half thousand subscribers this week so big big thanks to everyone that's been subscribing and let's get to 3,000 then let's set the target yeah let's carry on this journey and of course I say if you're new around here not to do subscribe to the channel like the video of course it means a lot and it helps with the channel as well so it's a massive one today we'll put the league table when we get to the ground but uh, yeah I feel like wearing shorts today but I think it might be a bit too cool so maybe just go with the jeans today so fashion advice by Joe Scalm <laughs> we'll see you. we'll see you in Nottingham Yes, I've always said this is a tidy sale. You go back to, I think it's April, May time 2022 when I was last year when I did the uh, Nottinghamshire Cup final. Redford played Newark. That was last time I was here and I have to say, yeah, it feels like a long time, but um, yeah, good to be back, good to be back. In the distance there, you can see Macclesfield already planting their flag. They've arrived. I'm gonna put the table up here because it's really massive for both teams today. Maxwell can cement playoffs today. Basically, if they win, they can move six points clear for the relegation zone. It's mad today. There's a real fight at both ends of the table. Like I say, as we saw last week at Lancaster, anything can happen. Anything can happen, yes. You know, the thing is, I picked one day where I forget my sunglasses and I'm squinting like this. Not good, not good. Although I spot a hole in the net. That could come a cropper, maybe. It's a big one today, as I said. Um, Oh, you see, I mean, I saw Baseford win Eclipse in a few weeks ago, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough one today because Macclesfield are going well. Um, I'm going to go 3 2 Macclesfield today. Picking plenty of goals. That's what I want today. Plenty. That's, yeah. <laughs> First off, starting now. Normally, you'd water the, the ground when there's grass, but it's. 4G, so surely doesn't that defeat the objects? Imagine if cameraman gets wet there. <laughs> Got a feel for him. Here we go then. Here we go then. Here we go. We had her. Wow. Bloody hell. Oh, heavy touch. Katie, don't get it! Katie, don't get it! No. Oh, yeah. oh he's done him. Go on, then. <laughs> Sniper's got him. Bit of atmosphere over there. Here we go. Oh, bloody hell. Again. I say I do like Macclesfield's kit. Yeah, that's a way kit, I think. Always a bit of a sucker for an Adidas kit. Yeah. Hence why I'm wearing the original. Oh, 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 Reckon it! Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Touch cross. Go on, Back post! Still got it. Go on. Still got it. Oh, that's a great ball. Touch and cross. Free header! I'd eventually stop it, but. Oh, it's a jab. Go on then. That's not bad. Oh! oh he got away with that one. Go on then. Keep had that one covered there. He saw it. Here we go then. Oh, he's got short. Oh, nice. Three points for Wigan, that's what it is. There we go. Goalless. It's been, I have to say, been a battle. I mean, both sides have had chances, but yeah, it's been a frustrating one. I mean, basically, they've done enough to hold them, but I want to see more from Macclesfield. They've, I, they've not really, say, the third at minute, they've not really seen that much from them. I'm a little bit disappointed, but 
who knows? They might show a bit of quality second half. We're actually going to get a little interview with a Baseford super fan right now. There is the Baseford super fan. Hello. What's your name? My name's Matt. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. So, how long have you been following Baseford then? Uh, just under six years. All right. So, and people said you're a big super fan and it's overpriced, but thank you. <laughs> so how many games have you done with Baseford now? Uh, pro uh, in the last. In the last six years, nearly 300, <laughs> perhaps more. Yeah. What's, what's the best game then you've done? Uh, we went to Warrington Town. Uh, we were two down with 25 minutes to go and came back and won 3-2. But I think uh, the best game I ever went to was when we went to we played Boston United in last season's uh, FA Cup and uh, won on a penalty shootout after a three-all draw after extra time in a replay. Yeah. What's your, and who's your, who's your favourite player? Who's been the best player you've seen here at Baseford? Um, the best player. I mean, my favourite player is Matt Thornhill. He, in, in my time, Time, he's probably been the best player that's uh, played for the club but I think historically a lot of people might say um, uh, Lee Hendry because he yeah. used to play here as well yeah. so yeah we've, he's probably the most famous player we've ever had here but in my time Matt Thornhill well I appreciate sure. appreciate your time thank you You're very well all the best go on then we're back on the way how's it touch oh there's a lot of atmosphere coming in the club bars don't they realise that the second half's going ahead? I like to think that the Baseford Ultras are over there. Oh, we're yet to hear most of it though. Here we go, cross, header, goal. It's wide, but he's offside. In the middle, and ball. What a save, what a save. And he still missed. Oh, dearie me. Would have been on ball. VAR. There's a loud bunch returning from their pints. <laughs> well, they're, they're bringing the atmosphere. Go on then. He's away. Oh, nice. Shoot. Save. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. I feel like a mini. Something's like about to happen. And yeah, it's just, yeah. Something's about to happen with one of these teams. Easy. <laughs> Oh. Always won it. Yeah. Go on. The quality. Go on. Go on. It's it. It's it. Oh no. <laughs> what a goal. Wow. <laughs> what a goal. <laughs> Oh, that's mad. Face with in front. What a shot lead. Told you something would happen. <laughs> but that's what that's what they get. Base for the stayed in the game, and Macclesfield have been a bit wasteful. That's been it. They're in. They've been giving it some as well. <laughs> It's 1-1, one, one. <laughs> they, <laughs> they're giving it some back, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. It's kicking off. It's kicking off over there. Well, well, yeah, fine. Well, this might end in a scrap here. Well then. Go away. Take him on. Gotta play this right. He slipped. Oh! <laughs> nah, not getting a flashback for that. No chance, no chance. Oh, wow. Done it. Turned it around, Maxfield. Wow. That's heartbreaking for base for now. Looks like there's about to be a scrap behind me. Looks like there's about to be a scrap behind me. Um, uh, what? What's going on here? Um, yeah. Oh, I like scrapping here again. I think it's going to kick off again here. I mean, this. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing doesn't need this. Absolutely ridiculous this. It's so stupid. Here we go. 
Oh, back in, back in. That's not bad. No. Oh. No. Oh. Keith. Oh. No, I just won't go in for Baseford. Oh, this is seal it. That's it. Job done. That's Macclesfield in playoffs. Big goal. Here we go, their last chance. They've got to score. Keith. Wow, what a waste. What a waste. That's it. All done. Uh, we'll speak in a sec. Yeah, so, look, to the outside, it would be 3-1 and job done with Macclesfield. It was, in a way, I mean, they weren't great. They weren't, it probably, they could have played a lot better and I did expect them to play a lot better and have the game really take the scruff back net, but they allowed Baseford to play a little bit and credit, I mean, to be fair to Baseford, they played all right. I didn't think they played that bad. I thought they, they looked all right at times. Um, yeah. It's difficult when you talk to some of the fans when they said, you know, they've got no outlet up front. You can see that. I mean, to be fair, the striker played okay, but you know, he just couldn't finish his chances. He couldn't, but... Um, and that's why they're down where they are. You know, it's going to be tough for them going forward, but I think Macclesfield have sewn up playoffs, but... There you go. Um, I might just address a little bit what we saw as well in the second half with the potential scrapping a little bit. It wasn't really scrapping, it was just a case of people just being idiots really um look Macclesfield have been in the uh, the headlights for all the wrong reasons for a couple of games this season but I just think when it, yeah it's 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 not it's not an easy one to kind of say um but look at the end of the day for certain grounds I think you just got to do segregation if that's the case then do it I think there's in terms of keeping the safety of the people, then that's where it needs to be. Um, I know it's difficult for for some grounds. You can't you can't segregate, but I think going forward, maybe whatever it may be, you know, if you add extra stewards onto it, whether you segregate the ground, I think that's I think that's where it's going to be going forward. But you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is with it. But there we go. Then you know, but. Back with the back with the football again. It's great to be back, and you're new around here. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, of course, and uh, we're on our way to 3,000 now. We've hit the 2,500 subscribers. So big thanks to everyone, and uh, we've got plenty of games coming up. Peace.